right, it's time for Drew's News, your news zen garden where we slowly rake the sands of the good news. Ooh. And with me at the desk is a man who helps me keep calm and carry on every day, Ross yeah. Matthews. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi. Look at this crowd. Yo. Hi, Coca. Um, uh, Okay, first up, I don't know about you, but I love seeing inside people's homes. Totally. I am a real creeper creature, and especially when it comes to design, uh -huh. I mean, that is my happy place. So Architectural Digest does these home tours with people, and BuzzFeed reports that actress Ashley Tisdale just did one, and Ms. Tisdale caused a real Tisdale tizzy over this moment. <laughs> so here's the moment. This is what got, got everybody's panties in the Everybody Everybody's talking about it. These bookshelves, I have to be honest, were not, actually did not have books in it like a couple days ago. Um, I had my husband go to a bookstore and I was like, you need to get 400 books. <laughs> <laughs> So people had a field day on Twitter. Yeah, Ashley took it in stride. She tweeted back that some of the books were in fact hers and she only did what any interior designer would have done. And, but people got like angry about this. Yeah. I, I know, and I'm not gonna read Ashley Tisdale for filth, just like she didn't read any of those books, okay? No judgment to you. And you know what I think? I have a lot of books in my house. I haven't read any of them. My fiance, Wellington, he's read them all. I'm like, can you tell me about them or just tell me when they make it into a movie, right? Because I don't have time. Are you reading all the books in your house? Um, I mean, Miss Tisdale took the words out of my mouth. I was literally going to go into interior design before this show came. I, I, lo I love interior design, I study it. This is what an interior designer would do. This happens in magazines and things all the time. How dare people rip this girl apart for something so asinine? Mm-hmm, like, preach, Drew Barrymore, preach. Leave her alone, I'm, I'm Miss Tisdale, I'm with you. I've got your back, and thank you for contributing to a bookstore and putting money in their coffers, which they need. You're just doing the same thing that other people do, <laughs> and you don't need to be ripped for it. Mm -hmm. And everyone who ripped her, get a life. I can't handle this. Okay. Makes me so mad. Drew has spoken, everyone. You hear that? God, she I thought you back, Ashley. Too heated. Yeah, you did. All right, next up, I have a question for you, Drew. Okay, do you wear shoes in your house? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I knew you did. Well, <laughs> the shoe inside the house debate is not news, but now the blog Scary Mommy reports scientists have officially weighed in and they say, don't you dare walk around your house in your dirty, filthy shoes, because they are gross. And scientists say your disgusting shoes are responsible for one third of the filth in your home. Yeah, they track in bacteria, microorganism, toxins, chemicals, doggy doo doo, all that stuff all gets on your floor and floats into the air particles. And so you are literally breathing in your dirty shoe dirt, Drew. Are you gonna change? No. I don't know. Again, this kind of goes into like the acai bowls and the microbes and the whole thing. I'm just like, you know what? Germs help build up immunity. I love like when I'm in a dirty public bathroom and I'm standing there and I think, I know you'll be on my bedroom carpet later. Yeah. But like, I don't care. By the way, you know what the dirtiest thing is according to a lot of studies? What? Money. Really? Yes. That is like worse than toilet, um, you know, handles. Really? Well, yeah, guess what, everyone? You can bring your money in my house, but leave your shoes on the porch, okay? <laughs> Not happening. It's just coming from everywhere. Ugh. It's coming from everywhere. It's, it's hard. I, I'm not uptight about stuff like that. Mm. Like, I'm more offended that people, like, ripped this girl for buying books, you yeah. know? That I'm like, really? Why, why in this tender world right now do you have to make someone feel bad for something like that and then just wear the shoes I don't know I don't know I'm very positive but this is the kind of stuff where I'm just like no uh, leave your shoes on and leave Ashley Tisdale alone understood everyone got it but wait Good. I would yes. love to those are the rules I'd love to know how many people here, because it is really a thing, and it's like there are cultural things, there are people who really are passionate about cleanliness. How many people here do take their shoes off at their house? Yeah. A lot of people. Kyle, Kyle yeah. may I ask you why? And I'd like to learn from you, because I'm, I am not closed-minded about this. 
I just am too lazy, I think. That's my problem. Well, it's a combination of two things. Okay. One, the germs, as Ross said. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And the other is we vacation in Hawaii. And there's tradition, everyone takes their shoes off. Mm -hmm. So we bring that tradition back to New York. Well, that's cute. Thank you. Aww. I went to Hawaii once and got laid. I'd like to bring that tradition. <laughs> Thank you.